good morning champions welcome to day 19 happy friday i hope that you are actually is today day 18 or 19 i'm not sure <laughs> if it's day 18 welcome um happy friday i hope you've had a wonderful wonderful week and i hope that it's coming along well today's location is different i'm currently in minneapolis minnesota for a conference i'm speaking on and i'm going to be teaching about 60 to 80 professionals about granting grant writing and so that's why my background is different but i'll be back home tomorrow <laughs> anyways welcome 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 again i am so excited thank you for joining me in this series ask me anything and i'm really excited to um continue on this path and just show you what is possible as a non-profit funder and so before i dive into today's series which is all about donor appreciation i'm just going to introduce myself for those that are new to my brand my name is omotola the great hi i'm the lead consultant here at the funding magnet where we aid we we our mission is to aid at least a thousand non-profits to fully fund their budget this year we believe that you don't have to go broke to make a difference and that you can make a living while making a difference as well we are here to support you to ensure that you have all that you need to try and to build a profitable sustainable and impact driven organization we want to aid you to ensure that you don't ever have to go broke to make a difference and know that you can make a living while you're making a difference as well if you are ever in need of anything we are just a dm away so do not be shy don't hesitate to reach out to us as well so now to the matter of today which is all about donor appreciation so yesterday we touched on donor communication so that is totally different from donor appreciation and so I'm going to dive into reason why some people don't give to organizations. And so according to research, like when people give and they don't get appreciated for giving, guess what happened? They lose interest in the work that you do. They lose interest in supporting your organization. And so I'm just going to read out some statistics right now. So according to research, it says that 5% of people that have given before and stop giving to an organization thought that oh the charity does not need me the nonprofit does not need me because they never got a thank you they never got an appreciation letter to even acknowledge their gift as well then also eight percent of those that used to give and who have stopped giving said that is because they never got the information about what the money was used for the nonprofits they donated to never followed up with them to inform them to say okay this is what we are using your money for this is what your money is going to do this is how you're helping us to change life save life and transform community for good as well and then 30 percent never got a thank you for donating so can you imagine you give an organization money to support their work and at the end of the day no thank you nothing another nine percent said they had no memory of giving and for them to say they have no memory of giving that means that the non-profit the charity the ngo never followed up to appreciate their gift and so because of that they felt what's the point like i don't even remember that that i gave i i didn't feel anything by giving to this organization because they never acknowledged me or even thanked me or helped me to see why my giving matter as well then 18 percent said they stopped giving because they thought the non-profit or charity or organization had poor service or communication so remember we talked about communication yesterday so even means that you should definitely go and check it out as well and then 36 percent felt like other non-profits were more deserving, that they were doing more of impact than the current non-profit that they gave to. And last but not the least, like, um, because 54% said they stopped giving because the non-profits never hacked again. So they never hacked them again beyond just the first gift. And so they didn't have any motivation or any um, props prompt to give again to the organization and so these are and so today i'm hoping to cover different things that you can definitely avoid so that you can be able to get more people to give to your organization and it's not just telling about getting new donors but also retaining those that have given to you in the past because the money is in those that have given to you in the past it takes a bit more effort and energy to get somebody new to give to your organization but if you can steward well, if you can cultivate well, those that have already given to you in the past, then it's going to sell smoothly to 
and it's going to be easier to get those people to give again but if you don't have a communication plan with them if you don't take the time to to follow up with them to keep them along and carry them along in what you're doing to thank them then your retention rate is going to be terrible one of the questions i usually ask those that um, i work with anytime um i have a consultation is who gave to you last year how many people gave to you last year What's the percentage of repeat giving? And most people cannot answer this question. And so that tells a lot. That tells a lot. And so you need to have a plan of communication. We discussed that yesterday. And today you need to have a plan for donor appreciation. There are certain things that you can put in place, certain things that you can automate in the process to make it easier. You need to create an SOP, that standard operating procedure around how you're going to appreciate your donors, how you're going to thank them, how you're going to help them feel like the hero that they are for giving and supporting your work, for partnering with you for good, to save life, to change life, and to, in, to, um, to, to, to change communities for good as well. And so with that said, um, we're going to um, break down these as well. So I have at least three tips of three ideas of how you can definitely work on donor appreciation and, and figure out how to thank them. And so it's very important that you thank your donors. Like it's, we talked about that yesterday, like don't wait until five hours five days five months after when you need something else from them that's when you now thank them no you should be able to thank your donors as soon as they give within 24 hours within 24 hours you should thank your donors whether through an email um letter that they will receive and also show tell them what you're using the money for because a lot of individual donors usually give for un unrestricted funds so they don't tell you must use this money for this specific thing and so that gives you a lot of leverage that gives you a lot of opportunity to use it for the things that you need the most in your organization but still you need to carry them along if you don't then like nothing is go going to change your funding will not improve and so when you are able to appreciate your donor and take the time to thank them it actually helps you to increase your giving it increase the money that you have to be able to support your work as well and so saying thank you is very important if it's possible a way that you can sh do the do appreciation beyond just the initial email that they get to say thank you. It's like if it's possible to call them, to thank them, like get your team members, find a day and just distribute the list of those that gave to you in that specific month and call them to thank them. So, so some of them, you may not reach them like on the phone. You can leave them a voice message or you can send them a voice note on WhatsApp, on Telegram to say, we just want to thank you and appreciate you for your giving. Without you, we cannot do this work. We really, like it makes people feel good. Good. It makes them, and it builds the connection between you and that specific individual. It builds this connection, and then the next time they're thinking of giving, they're going to think about your organization because they remember how you made them feel. So if you can make your donor feel good, if you can help them to see that they are the superstar, they are the hero, that they're supporting the work that you do, then it become easier and easier for them to, to give to you as well. And then the next thing in, in doing, in showing don't, donor appreciation is to show the impact. Like let them understand what it means, like what the amount they gave, they gave is going to do, how it's going to change a life, save a life, um, transform a community for good. How is it going to affect the population in a positive way? How is this reducing the barrier? How is this breaking barrier? And show them, show them, help them see, help, help them have an emotional connection to the people that you serve, to the population that you serve, to the cause that you're fighting for. Help them to have that connection. Tell the story of family, of an individual of your staff and how because they gave you that support you are able to do more good and make a lot of difference in the world and really do a, a lot of things as you go forward as well and so there are different kind of ideas in terms of how you can um definitely um appreciate your donor so we've spoken about calling them beyond just sending an email with a letter of appreciation as well you can call them to thank them so that's an that's an all and then also you can follow up with them immediately like so beyond just the receipt that they get and the initial thank you you can follow up maybe two weeks after to say we just want to thank you again for your giving this is what we've been able to do this is the update about our organization and if you can keep them along it makes it easier for them to 
remember you and that recency like it keep the it's it in their mind so that the next time they hear from you and then you're happy for more donation they know that you've communicated with them that you've thanked them before you've called them and now you, you're like saying okay a month is passed you can still support us this is what we are planning to do this is the goal this is what we're trying to accomplish and then you can use that also to continue to get support from them as well and so it's very important to do that as well then another thing is to do a survey survey to say okay why do you give to us why do you support us we want to appreciate you're a new donor you're a new supporter we just want to get to know you so don't make it just about you alone but appreciate them it's like we want to understand your passion we want to understand why you care enough to give you can have they could have chosen not to give like they could have chosen to just look away and not care and not give to your organization but they did and so you need to be able to, to to understand why they give their motive behind it and how you can definitely cultivate that as well the another thing you can do is to also like do like either quarterly or yearly or by annual gathering where you bring you invite the donors to come so you can have a donor appreciation day where you decide on a day each quarter or each year where you invite all your donors to come either virtually or in person and where you just like give them the state of the report about your organization the work you've done and the impact that they've made and then how they can continue to support you and give to you as well when i used to work for an, for an organization as a volunteer every single year in december they will send us like a ticket it looks fancy they say we should dress up nice and so they will like rent out a whole like restaurant and then they'll have like menu that you can choose like there will be three options and so it's like a appetizer the main course and then also um dessert for you to eat and then the drinks that you want as well and it used to be so much fun i used to go every year when i was living in that particular state for three years because i was a volunteer for them for three years and so it just made me feel good and now and then that during that period they'll tell us what we've accomplished they'll show pictures of the change and the difference we've been able to make they'll talk about the mission and the vision for next year and the purpose and how many people or target they want to serve as well and so even if you cannot do something quarterly if you can bring your donors and supporters together every single year and just host them host them and celebrate them make it all about them make it all about what they've done and the difference that they are making and how their support is really really helping your organization to do more good and to definitely impact the generation for good and so take the time to really really plan out a good and a really great donor appreciation day and then another, that's another way to also do like networking and let those donors to meet each other those supporters to meet each other and your staff and get to know the people behind the organization and what you're doing to to do that as well to make sure that you are able to keep um going forward and all of that as well then another way that you can also appreciate your donor or even recognize them is through having volunteer opportunity for them so yes they're giving their money but not some days sometimes some months they may have the time to give one hour 30 minutes of their time to see what you're doing to help you in one way or the other so don't ever think that oh because they've given to my organization i cannot ask them to give you can appreciate them in that way say we want you to come we have this event coming up you can get to meet some of the people that your donation your support is going to us we like to come as our honor guest and so that can also be another thing then you can also do award night where like maybe on a quarterly basis on yearly basis you do an award night where you invite all your donors and then you just um give them how what you don't it doesn't necessarily have to be about the amount they give but like their continuing support and the way that the, they've been able to help you do the good that you, you're able to do in the community as well and so that's another way that you can do that but yes you can have a volunteer program where they can definitely come to you and they can learn um more as you go forward then another thing you can do is to write like thank you letters by hand and so if it's possible every quarter beyond the normal automatically generated like um online thank you or what document thank you take some time get your, all your whole team together your volunteers even some of the people that you're serving and then you guys should write a handwritten thank you and mail it to all your um donors and supporters that will make a whole lot of difference or do a video where like the people that you serve also are thanking them so maybe you can gather five to ten of those 
people that you've helped or in, within that community or within all the families that you've helped and let them just say thank you like let them just say thank you and really celebrate those particular donors as well another way that you can appreciate your donor is like on your um social media pages like celebrate them you don't have to sh tell us how much they spent or how much they gave to your organization but you can take the time to really like thank them to say you know what we are so grateful for this support that you've rendered to us this is what it means to us this is the difference that this is making this is how you're helping us to change life and so celebrate them tag them on social media because maybe for some people all they want is recognition they want to be recognized for what they do and the impact they're having behind the scene in the community and so if you can take the time to really really like appreciate them and recognize them for what they do and tag them and ask people to celebrate them in the comments that can make a lot of difference for you as well maybe for some of them you put them on your website and put have like a list of donors that you create like a different like um levels for to say these are the presidential donors these are the gold donors these are the platinum donors these are the um browns donors or things like that and so have different levels and be able to do that as well and so that can be another way sometimes if it's possible and if it's in alignment with your organization's goals and plans you can create like um like what do you call like branded stuff for your organization and give it to them so it can be a branded pen so that way you are always at the top of their mind so whenever they pick up their pen they remember your organization and so that can be another way that you can do to also appreciate your donor and so when you do that when you appreciate your donor it is for your own good because guess what the more you appreciate them and the more that they see that you are so thankful for the support that you they're providing the more that they want to give if you don't appreciate them if you don't take the time to really really thank them to really recognize what they've done then things the chance of them giving next time it's not going to be good another example of what you can use to do a donor recognition wall so maybe when people walk into your office you can have like a wall of fame where you put pictures of donors um on your wall and so you can also do that and share that on social media as well or do like a graphics to say the, like the wall of fame or wall of superhero or wall of supporter or wall of part wall, wall of partners for you as well and so and tag people there and let people share it and so that can be another way that you can definitely recognize and appreciate your donors as you go forward and so it's really very important that you take the time to really thank your donor and help them to see that they matter that without Without them you cannot exist without them they without them you cannot do the work that you do and so when you take the time to do that like the possibility are endless of what is possible for your organization so i hope this up you i hope you find some really great insight in terms of what you can do and what is possible when it comes to donor appreciation um next month i have a free master class every single month i host a free master class it's called a fully funded plan and i really believe that it can help you as an organization to create a plan to be able to not just like get donation from your clients but to steal what that donation after they give in the first time and so click the link in the bio and go and sign up for the a free masterclass coming up on april 5th um at 12 30 central time which will be 6 30 west african time as well also we have free and paid training so click the link that says learn more about tfm academy if you're interested in learning some classes that will support your work again i am so thankful for you thank you for those that showed up live thank you for those that are going to join later and watch this and know that we're here we're rooting for you and we really believe in you we know that you guys are champions you're a change maker and we're so grateful for you and the work that you do in the world and don't be a stranger and we hope that you have a wonderful weekend i'll be back again same time tomorrow and i'm looking forward to hearing from you if you have a specific question relating to your own organization don't hesitate to message us but leave a comment behind as well until next time keep doing good and i will see you tomorrow bye everyone